Your baby is now 40 years old. What has given you your greatest nachas? I think what we've created for English speakers is really given them a social, cultural, volunteering life in Israel. I think that Ezra is an organization that English speakers identify with, are proud of, and that's part of our success. One of the objects that I had was that the lives of English speakers would be enriched and that they would stay in Israel. What was important was that they would know what was going on, be active, do things in English and feel good in it. How did you get your volunteers? We held this evening and it was amazing, but uh, 250 people just from Herzliya turned up. The ideas came from the people themselves, really grassroots needs, desires, problems. Uh, we started an Ezra College, which still goes today on different versions. What were the goals that you set and, and which of them were realized? In our constitution are these two aspects, integrating into the community and volunteering in the community, giving back to the community. These are still being practiced in Ezra. What happened in the beginning is still leading Ezra today. So what would uh, stand out in your memory? The mass immigration of the Russians came. 1989, 1990. Adele Rubin and myself went to the local official in charge of absorption in Herzliya and uh, said to her, what do the Russians need? She said, start a fund. That's how we started the Ezra Immigrant Fund and it really started as a welfare fund. So the project developed also towards the Ethiopians after the Russians? Yes, yes, absolutely. I remember we had about 320 children coming daily to this after-school centre uh, that we set up with a hot meal and with studying. We created the idea of these after-school uh, centres. It's been an amazing feature of Ezra to this day, is that we believe in this cooperation and have benefited, have been able to do wonderful things because of our partnership uh, with these local uh, municipalities. Ezra's work was very much appreciated by the general population, the Israeli population. One of the uh, well-known uh, Ezra projects is tutoring. Israeli kids need English. And so we've always, really, for all these years, had a tutoring project. And another wonderful project we had with the Tuchushons. How did that start? As I say, it all starts by people. In uh, Kfar Yona, there was a mother of a cerebral palsy child and she said there's nothing for my child or other children so she and I together sat down wrote out a program raised money for it and started our first after-school program with professional teachers in a community center I think we had about nine to in different towns at one stage this was like a building with another brick and another brick and another brick you know how our Ethiopian embroidery started there was an absorption centre. The house mother said she had an Ethiopian woman with nothing to do. Phyllis Bloch and another volunteer we had, they went to Kval Saba and uh, they took threads and materials, little bits. When we got back what they did, this woman Elaine looked at it and said, oh, this will make wonderful mezuzot. I think about a hundred thousand mezuzot at the time, uh, our Ethiopian woman embroidered and we sold them. It's developed bit by bit, naturally. The government was starting community television, so I thought, well, Ezra must have a group, you know, must start. And we had, I think, twice a week or something, we were on the air with Ezra Television. It was a terrific project. Well, let's talk a little bit about the magazine. You're the editor of the a very, very beautiful and successful magazine. The first one was four pages hand-typed and that was the birth, basically. And you're still editing that? I still do it, and I love it. It's a real challenge. And what is Ezra's future, Mal? You just never know what's coming. I think that Ezra's beauty is its dynamism. So it's just going with the, with the flow. And I think that's what's also made it so stable, is that it's just been natural growth. We've done so much over 40 years, thanks to 
our volunteers, their initiative, their hard work. It is the volunteers who bring the ideas. Rene Ezra is built on volunteers. Mm -hmm.